Today, a whistleblower set to testify in front of a Senate committee about safety concern over the assembly of Boeing planes, including 787 Dreamliner. The Boeing engineer saying that sections of the plane's bodies are being assembled in a way that could weaken the aircraft over time. Boeing has maintained there is no safety issue. Joining us right now, Connecticut Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal. He chairs the Homeland Security Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. He's going to be leading today's hearing. Uh, we've gotten a little bit of a preview of what this whistleblower is going to say, but I'm curious what you are directly looking for and how it contradicts what Boeing is saying. What we will hear today from this whistleblower is a pattern of corporate behavior that put profits over safety, the speed of production almost over everything else. And it's a pattern of corporate behavior that's described by whistleblowers who suffered retaliation, really shocking reprisals in transfers and even threats of violence, which itself is worthy of further investigation by our committee, by the FAA, and by the Department of Justice. And Boeing is really at a moment of reckoning, a moment that's years in the making. Remember, it promised to do better after the plane crashes of 2018 and 2019 right. that killed 346 people, and it is still failing. Senator, what should the American public think as they watch this hearing today? And would you step on a Boeing plane? Not only would I, I do step on Boeing planes, and the American public should not overreact, should not panic, and should continue to value the great employees at Boeing and the products that American Aerospace makes. But at the same time, it should insist on a corporate culture that protects employees who have legitimate complaints about how to do better on the production line, how to put fuselages together better, and how to produce products that are guaranteed to be safe, not produced more quickly, but more safely. How much do you look at this as a failure of the FAA in terms of its oversight of these, of these businesses? I've been critical of the FAA, and your point is extremely important. The FAA has failed in the past to exercise sufficient oversight. It has now been insisting on stronger receptivity, less retaliation, and stronger inspection and examination. But the FAA system needed an overhaul, and it's beginning to do it. So I think the FAA has to be held accountable as well. What is the overall message, though, Senator? I mean, what do you hope for the committee to accomplish by hearing the whistleblower, not just to, to make sure that whistleblower employees are protected, but in terms of that corporate culture uh, that doesn't value reports of potentially unsafe practices, what, what needs to happen here? What can you do? to change that? First and foremost, accountability. There needs to be a continuing Department of Justice investigation about the possibility that the deferred prosecution agreement was violated here, not jumping to any conclusions, but accountability is very important. Our committee is going to have more hearings and more investigative steps involving the airlines. And Boeing itself ought to be called to testify, which we will do. But longer range, the standards applied for manufacturing have to be reviewed, and that's an FAA function as well as Boeing. The entire aerospace industry ought to be looking in the mirror and asking itself whether it's doing the kind of work that it should be, and really keeping faith with the great employees who are also, by the way, protected by unions in Seattle, not in South Carolina, in Seattle and the state of Washington. Those unions played a part in protecting workers from retaliation that was absent in South Carolina. So if that deal with the DOJ was violated, Senator Blumenthal, what does that open Boeing up to at that point in terms of liabilities? It opens Boeing and its management to potential criminal liability but also stronger fines. It paid a couple of billion plus fines back uh, f about five years ago. But there is potential for reopening that prosecution if the terms and conditions of the agreement were violated.
criminal liabilities meaning uh, meaning what specific? I mean, th this would be for the pl the crashes involving the Max, correct? And so this would be criminal liabilities tied to the deaths of the people who perished on in those plane crashes. The liability would be tied to those deaths, but also to the continuing pattern of a broken safety culture and manufacturing defects that were known and concealed or covered up through this pattern of retaliation. And again, not jumping to conclusions, there needs to be further investigation. Hey, Senator, uh, before we let you go, uh, just want to get your quick thoughts on uh, what's going on in the House. Uh, with Speaker uh, Mike Johnson, whether you think he's going to get a bill passed uh, as it relates to funding for uh, Israel, Ukraine, whether you think they're going to be separate, whether he's going to keep his job, what do you think? Well, there's no mystery about what is needed. Ukraine is at a moment of the most severe peril. I visited Ukraine five times in the last two years, and I've seen firsthand. Right not only President Zelensky, but his military team, they will fight to the death, but they are severely outmanned, outgunned, firing only one artillery shell for every 10 that the Russians fire at them. So the need is desperate. My hope is that Speaker Johnson will have a package of some kind. It looks like this kind of Rube Goldberg uh, combination of measures. But the simple solution here is simply to pass the Senate bill approved by a 70 vote margin, overwhelmingly bipartisan, and whether he'll keep his job or not, I think is almost beside the point. I hate to be simplistic about it, but our own national security is at a moment of peril. If Ukraine falls, Putin will keep going and our troops will be fighting and dying just as the Ukrainians are doing right now and no one needs to talk Senator. about how important the aid to Israel is.